The Intercity State Transport Company started operations publicly in 1909 as a nation's premier transport company. But judging from turn of event, it's quite sad to know that it is going through some sort of crisis. Workers of STC describe the action of management in employing a third deputy managing director as a waste of public funds. They explain that the reduction in deputy managing directors will not adversely affect operations. The 700 workers expect the management to address their current challenges, which is the dwindling numbers in its operational buses. Currently, buses plying the commercial route are for a private entity. As of 2020, the fleet of STC was numbering 145, but presently, less than 40 are roadworthy. Most of the Daewoo buses that were acquired in 2020, in terms of quality, were inferior, and that's according to union executives. It's a reason they result in regular repairs and maintenance issues. Furthermore, there's outstanding provident fund contributions and other statutory deductions which are overdue, and this is in excess of 6 million cities. Reacting to these concerns, management admitted to the overage nature of its fleet, emphasizing that, by the norms of intercity standards, they are due for replacement. It was quick to support these claims with indication of two delegations who will be leaving shortly for China and Turkey to conclude arrangements for new fleet. On its debt, management says its debt to ADB has been reduced from 140 million cities to 80 million cities, where STC pays 2 million cities monthly to the indigenous bank. A meeting between union executives and the board is scheduled for Thursday, June 6 to resolve the workers' anxieties over the new appointment which has occasioned the protest. Hopefully, a roadmap would be developed. What is certain is that the union together with the TUC will come up with a press release after the meeting. George Quinn, TV3 News, STC Yard, Accra.